So what do you hope someone takes away from your book? The urge to buy 10 more. <laughs> <laughs> what do I hope they'll take away from my book? Um, well, I mean, I, I hope people, I, I hope... I hope even in the rawest places, I hope it's a healing memoir. You know, I hope it's the kind of a thing that, that is hopeful and that is, uh, uh, somewhat, you know, I, I'd love a person to feel soothed or feel, feel, uh, affirmed and feel connected. Mm -hmm. I think so many, People feel out of touch with reality and out of focus, maybe in God's eyes. You know, I think a lot of people feel like, you know, uh, I mean, there are those like I talk about in, in my book. I talk about my mother being so convinced that God is like involved in everything that she prays, you know, during a Scrabble game. She's like, oh, Lord, why won't you give me some good lettuce? And, you know, so there's that side of a person who feels like. Um, God is completely in tune with your desires and will hopefully pay attention and do something about it for you. Let more of a Santa Claus gone. And then there are those who feel like, no, God just put, set this thing in motion and, and he let it go. And uh, I hope it all works out. So I think I just want to say, you know, I want a, pe a person to feel like they matter, that their story matters. And uh, I guess I want them to feel like I feel, because obviously I feel like my story matters enough to tell it, you know, and hopefully that's, that's the case for everybody. That's great. Thank you so much, Bill. I really appreciate you sitting down with us today. Oh, it's totally my pleasure. I'm real excited about uh, meeting people who read the book and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.